This video is brought to you by jvjujitsuonline.com, the home to all JV Jiu-Jitsu content, your source for strike-based jiu-jitsu. Check it out. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and today we will be discussing positional basics, core ground positions, part three, chest to chest. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So chest to chest is made up of the guard, side mount, and mount. Guard, side mount, and mount are all linked by the opponent facing us and a chest to chest connection. Opponents have their best chance of victory or survival if they are facing you. Leg configurations are what separate these positions. Bypassing the legs leads to the side mount and the Guard and side mount are linked through proximity and conflict. This is the battle of bypassing the legs. There is a perceived level of complexity that will be simplified. Most battles in jiu-jitsu are between these two positions. The unattainable angle eliminates the use of the legs and the guard position. Let's discuss guard and mount. Guard and mount have the same leg configurations. The legs are wrapped around the waist. What makes these positions different is the perspective, which is based on top and bottom. When rolled from top to bottom, things get worse. When rolled from bottom to top, things get better. Let's discuss side mount and mount. Side mount and mount are linked through a knee slide or step over transition. This is the start of secondary attacks. Side mount to mount equals a new attack perspective. Mount to side mount equals an ejection lever from an unstable position. So guard top, the goal to control the hands from a closed guard. Utilize the split pass series or hook pass for consistent and efficient passing. Focus on turning the opponent away from you. Focus on bringing the opponent's knees together. So guard bottom. Perfect punch defense is priority. The focus from guard bottom is to transition from bottom to top using a variety of tools. The transitional tools are reverse arm locks, guillotines, drags, super kimuras, sweeps, and omoplatas. Side mount top. Utilize split and isolate strategies in order to isolate and control an opponent's arms. Utilize basic mechanics and turn prevention strategies to control the opponent's twisting transition to and from the turtle, which I call the meat grinder. Far side arm attacks include the super kimura and transitional wormholes to turtle. Attack the guillotine on the turn-in transition. So side mount bottom, the focus is on keeping your hands together and preventing arm isolation. Fight to green configurations and away from red configurations. Turning to turtle is a great option to transition from bottom to top or stand up. Look for transitional wormholes to transition to an optimized finishing position. Fight to and from the magical place. So mount top, the idea is to stabilize the mount top by getting your chest down, hooks in, hugging the neck and pinning the wrist. Use wrist isolation system to establish an optimized finishing position. Utilize the figure four baking pattern to control the quarter mount transition. As the opponent turns to chest to back, try to achieve an optimized finishing position. Let's discuss mount bottom. Control posture to neutralize punches and look to get to an OFP. Let's discuss the primary escapes, escaping to guard bottom, rolling the opponent and achieving guard top, turning the back to either turtle bottom or back mount defense and elevate the opponent to clear one knee and transition to leg locks. That was my presentation on chest to chest. Chest to chest is the most complex core ground position that we deal with. 
I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. Check out part four, supplemental positions, in order to complete the core ground position lecture series. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you real soon.